In our toughest test to date, the Pit Bulls head to Iowa to take on the number seven ranked Hawkeyes. Bit of a surprise early on, on the opening kickoff, Backup corner Luke Waller forces a fumble, which would be recovered by the Pit Bulls. Unfortunately, they would get no points out of the great field position. Did set up a big play for middle linebacker Jason Dragonson. Iowa starter Ricky Stanzi was hit as he threw. Dragonson picks it off and takes it to the house for a 7-0 Pit Bull lead. The Hawkeyes, though, would answer right back. Halfback Adam Robinson takes the next offensive play, 75 yards off tackle for a score. Robinson would add another touchdown run on the next drive, giving the Hawkeyes a 14-7 lead. From there, the Iowa pass catchers would take over. Wide receiver Marvin McNutt shows great concentration, tipping the ball to himself and taking it in for six. Next to get into the fray was tight end Alan Reisner. Reisner takes this pass from Stanzi, 17 yards for a score. On the drive, Reisner had all three catches. The Pitbulls would manage to get a field goal before the half ended. Here, middle linebacker Jason Dragonson gets a sack of Stanzi, one of eight sacks on the day for Potoka Valley. Outside linebacker Partrick Elbow puts pressure on and hits Stanzi hard, knocking him out of the game for the second time. Corner Philip Pace steps in front of a pass here, picking off his second in as many games for the Pitbulls. Overall, I've got to say I'm proud of the defense's effort. They had pressure on the Iowa QBs all day. We just weren't going to sit back and let them throw the ball over the field and run all over us. We put pressure on, and we made Iowa work for it. Player of the game was Robinson. 129 rush yards and 3 TDs on just 13 carries. Final score, Potoka Valley 10, Iowa 45.